factor each polynomial by removing the greatest common factor. Okay, so let's start with a. We've got 20x minus 6. Well, taking a look at the coefficients, the greatest common factor of 20 and 6 would be 2. And if you notice, only one of these contains an x. Okay, so that's the only thing we're going to pull out. That means that 20x divided by 2 is going to be 10x. And negative 6 divided by 2 is going to be negative 3. Next up we've got b, which is 16x to the power of 4 plus 4x to the power of 2. Well, let's take a look at 16 and 4. The greatest common factor between them both would be 4 itself. Then let's look at the x's. Well, we've got x to the power of 4 and x to the power of 2. Well, at the very least, each one of them has x to the power of 2. So we're going to pull out x to the power of 2 as well. Okay, so 16 x to the power of 4 divided by 4 x to the power of 2 is going to be 4 x to the power of 2. Plus, we have 4 to the x to the power of 2 divided by 4 x to the power of 2. That's just going to be 1. Let's take a look at c. We've got 10 a to the power of 3 b squared plus 8 a b to the power of 3 plus 2 a, b to the power of 4. Now taking a look at the coefficients, we've got 10, 8, and 2. The greatest common factor of these would basically be 2. Now let's take a look at the a's. We've got a to the power of 3, a, and a. So the greatest common factor of these would be just a. There's at least an a in each one of these. Then you've got b squared, b to the power of 3, and b to the power of 4. There's at least a b squared here. So, 10a to the power of 3, b to the power of 2, divided by 2ab squared, is going to be 5a squared. Next up, we've got 8ab squared, divided by 2ab squared. That's just going to give you 4b, and last, we have 2ab to the power 4 divided by 2ab squared. You're going to be left with b squared. D, we have 12p cubed minus 6p squared plus 15p. The greatest common factor between 12, 6, and 15 would be 3. Now, taking a look at the p's, we've got a p cubed, p squared, and just p. We have at least a p in each one of these. So 12p cubed divided by 3p is going to be 4p squared. Then we've got negative uh, 6p squared divided by 3p. That's going to be negative 2p. Then we have 15p divided by 3p. That's just going to be 5. E is a huge one. We've got 25xy squared z uh, to the power 3 minus 20x squared, y to the power 4, z squared, plus 30, x to the power 4, y squared, z to the power 5. So starting off with the, tw the uh, 25, the 20, and the 30, the greatest common factor for these ones is going to be 5. Now looking at the x's, we have 1x, 2x's, and 4x's. They have at least an x in each one of these. Looking at the y's, you've got y squared, y to the power of 4, and y squared. There's at least a y squared. And last but not least, we've got the z's. You've got z to the power of 3, z to the power of 2, and z to the power of 5. There's at least a z squared in each one of these. So when you divide these, what you're going to have is you're going to have 5z for the first one, minus 4 x, y squared for the next one. And when you divide 30 x to the power 4, y to the power 2, and z to the power 5 by 5 x, y squared, z squared, you're going to end up with 6 x to the power of 3, z to the power of 3.